In this video we're going to talk about multiplication of two complex numbers. As we discussed in a previous video, a complex number is a number that has a real part and an imaginary part. An imaginary part is always followed with an i. So we have two complex numbers here, 7 minus 5i times negative 2 minus 3i. There's a common term for multiplication of this type that uh, some may be familiar with and it's called FOIL. And FOIL is an acronym that represents the following steps. So the F in FOIL represents FIRST. The O in FOIL represents OUTER or OUTSIDE. The I represents INNER or INSIDE. And the L represents LAST. This acronym is simply a way to help guide us to make sure that we do all the multiplications that need to happen here. So there are four things that will be multiplied. So to multiply the first terms, we take the 7 times the negative 2. Now we do the outer terms, and that's the 7 that we used again, and now this time it's a negative 3i. So we'll write plus, and then 7 times negative 3i. Now we do the inner terms, and the two inner terms are negative 5i and a negative 2. And then finally we do the last terms, and the last terms are negative 5i and negative 3i. Now let's go multiply these pieces. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And then we do 7 times negative 3i, that's negative 21i. Then we're going to do negative 5i times negative 2. Two negatives make a positive, and 5 times 2 is 10i. And then our last step, this is where the tricky part comes in. We have negative 5 times negative 3, and that's plus 15. And now we have i times i. And that's i squared. So now let's review what i was. i in its basic form is the square root of negative 1. And then by extension we find that i squared equals negative 1. So what needs to happen in this last step is this i squared needs to be written as plus 15 and I'm going to change the i squared to negative 1. And what that effectively does is it changes that last coefficient from a positive 15 to a negative 15. Now we can combine our real parts and our imaginary parts. So we have real parts here and here. So negative 14 and negative 15 is negative 29. And then our imaginary parts are these two pieces here. Negative 21i plus 10i gives us negative 11i. And now we have expressed our final answer as a complex number. Now I'm going to add a simple animation here to show you another multiplication of complex numbers. And in this case, the two numbers will be conjugates. So in this problem, I have a 3 plus 5i and a 3 minus 5i. These two numbers are what we call conjugates. And so conjugates are things that share the same coefficients and then an alternating signs in between. In a generic form, that would be a plus bi and a minus bi as an example. Now I'm going to do some animation here and quickly move through the steps to show you what happens when we multiply complex conjugates. And so as you see these steps here, what happened was the O and the I steps of the FOIL canceled each other out because they were equal and opposite. And then we simplified, and again 25I squared is the same as 25 times negative 1, and then we subtract uh, negative 25, which is the same as addition of 25, and we get 34. And this is a significant result because we have turned what was two complex numbers into a very simple real number. And that's a skill we're going to use as we go forward into division of complex numbers.